WYLN Studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening. It's Monday, September 12th, 2016. I'm Paula Degnan, in for Ann Gownley. Yesterday marked the 15th anniversary of the attacks on 9-11, and on Saturday, fire departments in our area gathered together for a service to remember all of those who lost their lives. WYLN's Abby Peskel has more. One go down as some of the worst in American history. To honor all of those who lost their lives during the attacks, fire departments in our area held a ceremony to pay tribute to their memory. I just want to say two words, never forget. That's most important. If anybody came out of anything else here tonight, just never forget 9-11 is too special of a day that we can't forget. And as you can see behind us, that it is a brotherhood, and we just like to say thank you to Hazleton and never forget. This event has been a part of the Hazleton community for several years to honor all of those who lost their lives. I was part of 9-11, uh, and uh, I was uh, president of a large fraternal organization in the fire department. And I, I made it my mission uh, to always serve the, the, the victims, to speak highly of them and to keep their legacies going. So back uh, in 2003, Tony Colombo, uh, to another friend, uh, inducted me as their poster boy for Hazleton to come up here for the annual event. An American flag flew over the ceremony and all of those in attendance to emphasize the importance of remembering the tragedy. And I think it's so important that we continue to do this and make this a, a tradition here in Hazleton uh, so that not only that we don't forget, uh, but so, so that so many who have not even, who weren't even born yet uh, when, when September 11th happened, uh, that they can remember. And uh, if it wasn't for events like this, uh, unfortunately, I believe that someday uh, people wouldn't remember it at all. So I, I don't think we should ever forget not only the memories of those who, who died and were killed and the first responders, uh, who gave their lives going in to help others, but, but also uh, the rebirth of the American spirit. Uh, I believe the September 11th really uh, brought our country together and, uh, uh, as a nation, as one. In Hazleton, for WILN News, I'm Abby Piskel. Today is the two-year anniversary of the ambush attack at the Pennsylvania State Police Barracks in Blooming Grove. That's where Corporal Brian Dixon was killed and Trooper Alex Douglas was injured. A memorial was dedicated today to honor Dixon in an area in front of the barracks in Pike County. Dixon was killed when he walked out of the barracks and was struck by a rifle shot. Douglas, who was in the parking lot, came to Dixon's aid and also was wounded. The subject fled the scene but was later identified as Eric Freen. Freen was captured October 30th, 2014 after a seven-week manhunt. Freen is currently in the Pike County prison awaiting trial. One person is dead and two injured after a stabbing that occurred at a home in Trucksville last night. 45-year-old David Sinaraki of Trucksville died. His wife and 17-year-old daughter both injured. Police arrested 15-year-old Zach Hockenberry after he barged into the home on Orchard Street and attacked the family. Hockenberry is currently in Luzerne County Prison on charges of criminal homicide. State police at Frackville are investigating a presumed burglary. Someone broke into a house on Miller's Road in Zion Grove over the weekend. Police are unsure if anything was taken. No one was injured in a crash that happened in Wilkesbury Saturday night. A GMC SUV crashed into the subway on South Main Street in Wilkesbury around 8.30 Saturday. Neither the woman driver nor her juvenile passenger were injured. No one in the eatery was injured as well. At that time, there has been no reason given for the crash. GOP vice presidential candidate Mike Pence is coming to the region. He'll be at the Kenworth of Pennsylvania in Dunmore on Wednesday. Doors open at 4 o'clock. The program is scheduled to start at 7. A local crime watch group held a special meeting last week with Senator John Udichak's office. WYLN's Aaron Harvey was at that meeting and has more from Hazel Township. The Northgate and surrounding areas neighborhood crime watch held a special meeting last Thursday. The meeting was held at the Hazel Township Commons building and was supposed to feature State Senator John Udichak as a special guest speaker, but Udichak did not make it due to a scheduling error. 
Even though he did not make it, he sent his right-hand man, Mark Grohusky, who is the district director for UDCHAC. Grohusky answered many questions on crime prevention and gangs. Yeah, the gang problem and crime problem uh, is is a regional problem in nature, and the solutions that the senator and Congressman Barletta have implemented to date, whether it's the mobile street crime unit, uh, the Shine After School program, uh, the first ever gang law uh, on the books in Pennsylvania, uh, has that a regional approach uh, to attack that problem because crime and gangs know no boundaries, and we need to attack it in that fashion. Meetings like these give you DCHAC a better look at neighborhood problems. Kathy does a fantastic job with the Crime Watch group. Uh, these type of groups and engagement with the community allows Congressman Barletta, Senator DCHAC, to implement initiatives like Operation Gang Up, Shine, the Mobile Street Crime Unit, this type of engagement, feedback from the community on crime or other problems in the community allows us to look at the problem and proven solutions to implement to attack the problem. So we're happy to be here tonight. Pamphlets like these help teachers and many others identify what gangs people belong to. Well, uh, one of the key focus points of Operation Gang Up was education, uh, getting gang training into the schools and uh, working with our teachers so that they know the identifying uh, marks or signs so that they can law enforcement on problems in the schools. Also getting that training out to the community uh, and uh, spreading that knowledge so that uh, the community can do their job and help, help law enforcement uh, attack the problem. So that's, as always, education is a big part of uh, the solution. The group says they are planning on having another special meeting with Senator Udichak in the near future. In Hazel Township for WILN News, I'm Erin Harvey. On Friday, many gathered here at the WILN building for a special event to benefit those who have autism. Pause for a Cause for Autism hosted a paint and portrait of your pet night. Those in attendance submitted a picture of their pet that was then drawn on a canvas ready for them to paint. The purpose of the event was to raise funds to help get a service dog for an art autistic child in our area bunch of people having a good time painting portraits of their pets having a little something to eat and a little something to drink we're planning on having another one in the near future service dogs benefit those who have autism and are able to help keep them safe a service dog is very important it, it really keeps the children safe it could keep them from jumping out a window it could keep them from running out in traffic it's it's highly important Pause for a Cause will also be hosting a dog walk October 2nd at Whitetail Preserve. Time now for a first look at our forecast. A sunny and somewhat cooler day in our viewing area. But what can we expect as far as the temperature is concerned into our work week ahead? Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacek in the Weather Center has the details. Joe? Well, overall, uh, things aren't shaping up to be too bad across our area over the next couple of days. A little bit cooler than what we've seen the last uh, several days, in fact, the last several months. Some of those lower humidity levels and temperatures for the most part in the 70s. But tell you what, some of those overnight lows are going to be quite cool across our area. Seven-day forecast coming up in just a few. Paula? Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, this past weekend was Fun Fest weekend in downtown Hazleton. And, of course, the annual Fun Fest parade Find out more details on that coming up, plus more news, weather, and sports coming your way right here on WILN. Stay tuned. You're watching WILN News with Ann Gownley, video journalists Mike Lula and Julie Stefanovich, Paula Degnan, Gary Perna, Abby Piskel, and Aaron Harvey. Sports with Eric DiBerardinas and John Eric Poli, and weather with Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. 
It's a kickoff classic sale at Burger Mazda, Route 93, Hazel Township. 2016 Mazda CX-3 Sport. It's all-wheel drive, zero-to-drive lease, just $2.55 a month. Or this 2016 Mazda 6i Sport, zero-to-drive lease, just $2.55 a month. It's 2016 Mazda CX-5 Sport. It's all-wheel drive, zero-to-drive lease, just $2.85 a month. At Burger Mazda, Route 93, Hazel Township. Burger Family Dealerships. Drive with the why we love to go to the fair, the Bloomsburg Fair. It's the largest agricultural fair in PA. Over 1,000 vendors sit on 220 acres. General admission $8, children 12 and under free every day. The Bloomsburg Fair, September 24th through October 1st. With hundreds of food vendors, exhibit, livestock displays, dog show, Barton House, and one-room schoolhouse. Daily demonstrations, and don't miss new this year, the Amish Barn Raising. The Bloomsburg Fair, exit 232 off I-80 Bloomsburg. More info at Bloomsburg Fair Facebook and BloomsburgFair.com. This weekend was the 37th annual Fun Fest in downtown Hazleton. The weekend full of fun, food, and, of course, the annual Fun Fest parade. WILN's Abby Piskel has the details. This year's Fun Fest theme was Community Superheroes, uniting the forces of the Hazleton Chamber of Commerce, the Fun Fest Committee, and all of the vendors and businesses that helped make this year's event possible. Saturday was the first day of Fun Fest, and Ariane Gownley spoke with Chamber President Mary Malone to discuss what was going on during the weekend. Yeah, today we had, today was the 26 car show, and so I'm sure you're going to get some great shots to show everybody. Had a great turnout, some brand new cars you've never seen before, which is fun. And then tomorrow, tradition, 2.30, you step off in West Hazleton, so this is a joint effort between the city of Hazleton and the borough of West Hazleton get together to do that. And not only do we have some prime new bands that will be joining us this year, Sunday was the annual Fun Fest Parade featuring all of Hazleton's finest, musical bands, and of course, balloons. WILN broadcasts the parade in its entirety, and you can view the parade here only on WILN. In Hazleton, for WILN News, I'm Abby Piskel. At All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, you not only get the vehicle that you want, you also get the lowest financing options. We also deliver unmatched service. Whether you're in need of a work truck, have an active family lifestyle, or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. It's the Ram Power Days and Jeep Celebration event. Stop in today. Since 2001, Hazleton Imaging has been offering the best care. A staff that is kind and courteous, and a radiologist on site. Hazleton Imaging is less expensive than most hospitals, and they offer self-pay pricing. Call Hazleton Imaging today at 570-501-SCAN. Sal's Septic Service for cesspools and septic tank cleaning, and Marola's Garage for car and truck inspection and repairs. If it has wheels, Marola's can fix it. Call Sal's Septic and Marola's Garage at 570-956-4782. S.J. Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim Ductless Heating and Cooling System. Mr. Slim Systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call S.J. Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Join us this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. You'll meet Becca, a lovely young woman, a speech pathologist who had a long time injury from a car accident many years ago. Now with great chiropractic care, she's feeling better and she's able to provide better care to her patients as well. That her story is coming up this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. Join us. Well, definitely much uh, different today as compared to what we've seen a lot of the summer when we had to deal with those very high temperatures, the high humidity levels as well. Today, uh, lower numbers in terms of temperatures, humidity levels, much lower, more comfortable walking outside. And even in the early morning hours, you literally have to put a sweatshirt on and bundle up a little bit because uh, we've been dealing with some chilly mornings, some chilly mornings ahead. But yet, 
as much as they're chilly in the morning, we warm things up quite nicely in the 70s throughout the daytime hour. So again, that's not too bad as we are in the month of September. So how are we doing temperature-wise right now? It's looking uh, pretty good out there. Temperature's only in the 70s, 75 degrees. Look at that dew point number, and only in the 40s. I can't even tell you the last time I remember seeing a number that low. It's been a long time, because all summer, boy, those numbers have been in the 50s, and the 60s, and in the 70s. We had a lot of that humidity throughout much of the summer. Literally now, you don't have any humidity out there. You walk outside, and it feels very refreshing in the air, and we have not seen any immeasurable rainfall since the midnight hour. So temperature-wise, how we did for the high and low, well, it wasn't too bad. We started out this morning on a uh, chilly note, down to 53 degrees, and we did manage to uh, make it up to uh, uh, 75 degrees, which wasn't too bad across our area. Actually, 76 degrees has been the uh, high. That was a little bit after uh, 5 o'clock. So overall, not a bad day across our area. But like I said, some cool nights ahead in a seven-day forecast. So on to what we're looking at throughout the Commonwealth. Generally, again, we got temperatures in the 70s to near 80 degrees with a lot of sunshine, but again, humidity levels practically non-existent. You don't feel any of the humidity in the air. So when you combine temperatures with the actual humidity levels, if you will, and dew point numbers, here's what it's actually feeling like. It ain't that bad. You really don't have to worry too much about um, those numbers because it feels very comfortable walking outside. Extended forecast looking like this and what we can expect over the next couple of days. Well, we got a lot of sunshine once again for tomorrow and even as we go into tomorrow, we're going to have to watch out for some of that early morning fog across our area and then that fog will give way to a lot of sunshine, 75 degrees and then as we go into our Wednesday, it's not looking too bad. A mix of clouds and sunshine, 77. A lot of sunshine for Thursday, 70 degrees, and generally in the 70s, right through the ending part of the week, going into the weekend, and there's some of those uh, overnight lows. We got temperatures in the uh, 50s, and could be even some upper 40s out there. We'll have more for you coming up after this break. Minutes away. That's right, you're just minutes away from a great deal on a new car, truck, or SUV from Barber Ford. Two great locations, Exeter and Hazleton. The best deals on America's number one brand are just 19 minutes from Scranton, 15 minutes from Wilkesbury, 12 minutes from Old Forge, 18 minutes from Mountaintop, and 28 minutes from Berwick. Barber Ford in Exeter and Barber Ford in Hazleton. Start your new car search today at barberautogroup.com, where nobody but nobody sells for less. Personal cancer care is close to home. The Cancer Treatment Center at Hazleton has been providing radiation therapies to cancer patients for 30 years. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with cancer and need radiation therapy and would like to learn more about our treatments, let our compassionate, experienced team of experts help you. No reason to travel out of town for same services that are only minutes away from your home. The Cancer Treatment Center at Hazleton. 1701 East Broad Street in Hazleton. Close to home. It's high school football time. Watch WILN for all the local high school football action as we bring you the event, not just the highlights, like only WILN can. Watch the Game of the Week right here on WILN. We're your local network. For the best in local sports, watch WILN TV 35. The event, not just the highlights. It's Medical Monday here on WILN with Ting O oh from Physical Therapy and Balance Center in Hazleton. Today, Ting O oh is providing tips on how to prevent falling. Falls among our seniors has become such a major problem that 2.5 million seniors are treated in the emergency room every year because of falls. Of those, a number of them suffer some pretty significant injuries, including traumatic brain injuries and fractured hips. There is a way that we could prevent a lot of these falls, and one of the main things that we can do is to identify people before they actually have a fall. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers has come up with a falls risk assessment which consists of three main tests that we can do that can help identify people before they uh, suffer a fall. The fall risks assessment starts with a questionnaire that the CDC uh, developed 
Um, you'll see Kathy holding it up now. What it does is it, it asks you a couple of questions that has been found to contribute to falls, such as if you need your arms to get up from a chair, if you have numbness in your feet, or if you hold onto furniture when you walk. If you answer this questionnaire, it'll give you a good idea if you're at a, a risk of falling. The second part of the fall risk assessment is a computerized static balance test. What this balance test does is it helps us identify if there are certain factors in your body, including your balance centers or your vestibular system, which may not be uh, working as well as it could be. So the third part of the falls risk assessment consists of a functional test, uh, which we at Physical Therapy and Balance Centers use the BodyQ functional module. That way we have people do some functional tasks, such as walking, get up and down off a chair, turn around in a circle, and that way we check your functional systems when you're actually on the move. And that way we can detect if, again, you are at a risk of falling. After we complete the falls risk assessment, we can give you an idea of what your fall risk is. From there, um, you can know if there's something that you should uh, try and pursue further, or if you're okay, or if you should do a home exercise program, which we can help you provide. The month of September is Falls Awareness Month, and on September 22nd is actually Falls Awareness Day. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers will be here on September 22nd to offer Falls Risks Assessments for the public. All you need to do is give us a call at 570-501-1808 and schedule yourself in for a free Falls Risk Assessment. And if you want to pop by, you can pick up this paper beforehand and fill it out and bring it back in with you. Um, the assessment itself takes between 15 to 20 minutes, so be sure to come along. This way we can help identify whether you or your loved one are, is at risk of falling, and we can help America stop falling. Call Physical Therapy and Balance Centers for a free 20-minute question and answer session. 501-1808, Physical Therapy and Balance Centers, 1324 North Church Street in Hazel Township, or visit them online at hazeltonpt.com. Weatherwood is a privately owned 200 bed nursing and rehabilitation center in the quiet town of Weatherly, Pennsylvania. The rehab center offers the highest level of personalized care for your therapy experience. Whispering Meadows is a 50 bed secure dementia unit in our facility. Weatherwood also offers Medicare certified home health care services within the community, including therapies, skilled nursing, and certified nursing assistants. Whether you need short term, long term, or respite stay, call or stop by for a tour. 570-427-8683. Tune in each week to WYLN TV 35 to watch the number one Hazleton-based broadcasted television talk show, The Storm, hosted by Tiffany Cloud. Candidates, politicians, community leaders, and more appear on The Storm when they want to be heard. New shows air Wednesdays at 8 p.m. and these additional airtimes, only on WYLN TV 35. We're your local network. You have to travel at least an hour to find another school the size of Hazleton in football terms. Friday, the Cougars made that hour-plus trip to fellow 6A school, Williamsport. Hazleton looking for their first win, millionaires looking to avoid their first loss. First quarter, first Williamsport possession, Isaiah Hankins, the drop-off, Dante Wright, the rest dodging through holes and darting to the end zone. Wright goes 52 yards. Second quarter, it's Adrian Otero, 11 yards away. Probably should have been dropped at the five, but he's the good kind of bully. Cougars even it up. But on the ensuing kickoff, you get the ball into the hands of Trayson Potts, and you might not be able to get a hand on him. Untouched for 12 seconds and 91 yards. The Millionaire is back ahead, 14 to seven after the kickoff return for a touchdown. And the big plays, they continue. Hankins, the pretty touch. Jalen Jackson about to break some ankles eventually. He'll be dragged down at the three, but not before a 66-yard pickup. And just before the half, the great effort to cross the goal line by Isaiah Hankins, the dual threat quarterback. 21 to seven is the halftime advantage. 42 to 13, the final. Williamsport gets Valley West next, Hazleton at Abington Heights next Saturday. 
The Rail Riders made light work of Lehigh Valley in the first round of the Governor's Cup playoffs and secured longtime bragging rights. Now, the focus shifts to the Gwinnett Braves in the Governor's Cup Finals in the five-game series, which starts tomorrow at PNC Field with a 6:35 first pitch between Scranton Wilkesbury and Gwinnett. And also tonight, Monday Night Football returns just about over an hour as the Steelers on the road against Washington. The Eagles and Giants pick up wins yesterday. The Jets, one point losers. That's it for sports. Stay tuned. If you haven't found the perfect fishing getaway, you haven't been to Captain's Cove. Located on Henderson Harbor in upstate New York, Captain's Cove offers a variety of accommodations to please just about anyone. The motel, also located on the harbor, offers a magnificent view. Enjoy free morning coffee, air-conditioned rooms, cable TV, and HBO. The cottage can accommodate up to eight people with three bedrooms, a complete kitchen, washer-dryer, two full baths, air conditioning, an outside grill, and picnic table. Call us today for rates and information at 1-800-824-FISH. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant, and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor, and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. Off the beaten path on WYLN TV 35 and discover the Pennsylvania you never knew existed. This week on Topic A, a representative from Van Holken Greenhouses will join me to talk about a new company they are starting and a new venture into medical cannabis that they're looking into. We'll talk about what they need to do and how you, the community, has to be involved. All that coming up this week on Topic A, only on WYLN. Every Sunday night on WYLN from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. for hard-hitting, high-flying, non-stop action as only Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling High Voltage can bring you. That's Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling every Sunday night on WYLN. I'll see you in the ring. All right, so... Here's what we can expect going into the next couple of days. It's actually not too bad. We've got some decent temperatures for this time of year, generally in the uh, 70s for daytime highs. But some of those overnight lows are going to be kind of cool across our area. Now, tomorrow, not looking too bad. 75 degrees, some of that fog in the morning, which we typically see this time of year. But then it gives way to sunshine mixed with some clouds. 75. Maybe you have to deal with a shower or thunderstorm as we go into tomorrow night. And then a decent amount of sunshine Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Temperatures in the 70s. Could be some upper 40s out there and lower 50s. And then going into the weekend again, that's not looking uh, too bad. At least for the first part of the weekend by Sunday, we may have to deal with a couple of uh, showers and thunderstorms around generally in uh, the 70s. So again, uh, you know, this is the time of year. We can still get a lot of uh, heat and humidity yet. We've already had it in September. In fact, October, I can remember times when we've had a lot of heat and humidity. So, And right on the screen now, in case you missed it over the weekend, the weather was delightful for 2016 Fun Fest. The parade, the parade air times are on your screen, so in case you missed it, you can tune in and uh, catch everything that you missed. Yeah, you got seven chances to watch. That's right. So if you missed it, you can get, do it in bits. <laughs> and you're all ready for... Yes, this Friday we will be at Crestwood. Crestwood and Berwick, a big matchup. The Bulldogs lost. Crestwood trying to, uh, to beat them again. So that's always a big rivalry. We have a couple big rivalries, and that's one of the biggest. All right, and we will catch you again right here for all the news, sports, and weather on WYLN. <laughs>